Well, it's not new, but it's a gig working car. Hey, how y'all doing today? I finally got me a car and I'm really enjoying it. It's a 2017 Nissan Maxima Platinum. Got the moon roof, got the leather seats. I am ready to do some door dashing and sparking and doing something to make some money. Cause I got payments to make now. Little more than the infinity but it's quite a bit more car than the infinity i hope y'all are all doing well out there you know what was uh, kind of funny thursday night my mother sends me a text and says i missed the show she calls it the show and it clicked i was like crap i wasn't even thinking about it being thursday but it was like i don't know 7.45 then, so it was like way too late. I've just been so busy, you know, trying to find a car and trying to do reviews and I don't know, everything's just piled up on me. If y'all are some of those that enjoy the live, sorry about that. I will be back hopefully this coming Thursday. And if you're uh watching this at a later date others i will be live again hopefully thursday night if all goes as well i hope y'all are having a good week out there it's been i had one really good day that uh kind of made up for missing other work and missing friday because friday is when we went down to richardson texas to look for a car that's where this car came from. Great dealership. No complaints about them at all. A little shout out to them, courtesy Nissan of Richardson. If y'all are in the Metroplex area and y'all are in the market for a Nissan, might look around and see what they got. Emily found her a car that she really likes, but all electric SUV with the leather seats and all. I think she said it was like 60,000. It's a lot of money. Who knows? They only had two. And those two were sold already. I can't, it, it was a weird name, like Avia. Oh, hold that thought, let me look. I found it. It's a 2023 Area, have you pronounce it? Sweet looking ride. Way, 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 way out of my budget, but you know, who knows? Might hit the lottery. That's about what you'd have to hit to get that vehicle. I say that though, you know, if, I guess if you have really good credit and uh, you might get those payments decent. It was pretty sharp looking, I, I'll give her that. If she wasn't so frugal, she could probably get it, but Emily is uh, very conservative. She won't just blow money, just, you know, she's not afraid to spend money but it better be for something really worth it and something needed. So she's pretty good about that. There's a Tesla, a red one. I'm starting to see more and more of those. I don't know if the prices are going down on them or I'm not real sure what the deal is. I'm sitting here at Walmart Spark waiting on an order and it's staying, getting ready. I'm going to drop it because the round robin should be coming out and uh it's just taking too long cancel current trip yes cancel trip long wait time and maybe in about one to two minutes i will get a good round robin that was a decent order it was like 17 dollars, but it was going like six miles or so so i mean it wasn't fantastic but it wasn't bad and since there's nobody in these reserve spots I'm at the very end one. I'm gonna go ahead and stay in the position I am in. $17, that's the one I just dropped. Oh, it was 1.7 miles. No, actually, I think this is a different one. No, I think it's the same one. But they sent it to me as a round robin. I guess I'll accept it. Well, maybe it's not the same one. Oh, no, it's not the same one. Because this one says it's ready and it says it's too early to start my trip. And I know a lot of people use that airplane mode, but let me tell you, if they start cracking down on it, you might get yourself in a bind, so be careful. Most of the Walmarts that I have know of and have heard of aren't really pushing that too much, but technically it is against the terms of use. But as long as Walmart don't uh, fuss about it and you don't get a customer complaints on it, you're gonna be fine. I'm just, I don't trust the people 
enough to not complain if I wind up because if I started this order it's probably a, a two to four slot, time slot you know deliver it between two and four and if I take that order right now it's 122 I probably get it because there's not that many people here right now to get loaded I could probably get it and by 125 and be heading out and it's going 1.7 miles so by 135 I'd be dropping it off. That's 25 minutes early. And uh, they have some stuff in their order, as I took a quick glance, that would melt. And if they are not home, and not going to be home until two o'clock, then uh, their stuff's gonna be sitting out there for 25 minutes. That's not cool. So there is a reason why they have that rule in place. And uh, I understand it. I don't mind starting, you know, a few minutes early, but I wouldn't overdo it. And anyway, like I said, if Walmart starts to crack down on that airplane mode, then uh, might find yourself uh, with one less gig app that you are able to work. There's a GMC Terrain. That was my second. Second choice, really. I had thought about the Nissan Pathfinder, but I read a lot of reviews on those. I really liked them, mainly the inside of them, and I wanted all-wheel drive and something that would pull a small trailer, you know, like a small camping trailer or a small boat. You know, I'm not talking about a huge camper or a huge boat, just something medium to small, and it, that fit. But all the reviews I read on them, I decided not to, and the terrains were nice looking, and I really like them. Not so much as the brand new ones, but like the 2014 to 2015, 16, right in there. They look pretty tough, you know? And I found a couple that I was really interested in and probably would have pursued them had this deal not have went through. I really prefer the SUV, but I like this car. It's very, very comfortable. We, like, you know, we drove it from Richardson back to Wichita Falls, and then we had a family event yesterday, so we wound up driving back to, well, it was to Plano, which is right on past Richardson, and uh, took my car and Came back, I loved it. Nice ride, good gas mileage out on the highway. I'm sitting there looking at my average, and I'm, but I've been sitting and idling for a while. It's now a 14.5. That's not good. The uh, Infinity got 15 to 15.5 in town, but I'm sitting here idling. So that's gonna make that average drop down down and down anyway i'm going to uh end the video here and i just wanted to tell y'all that i've got a new car i'm ready to work and i was just showing y'all what it was because i'm proud of it you know and as you should be as well be proud of what you're driving you know it's better than walking <laughs> my mom told me well your bicycle's still over here on the patio but I don't think I could get uh, many deliveries done and as spread out as Wichita Falls is. You could go anywhere from a quarter of a mile to 12 miles. You just don't know. And uh, I'm afraid a gallon of ice cream would not survive a 12-mile bicycle ride. Even today, it's showing to be 59 degrees, but that sun is shining through that windshield, and it's pretty warm. So anyway... I hope y'all are doing well, and I hope everything goes good for you this week. I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all keep smiling, dashing, dancing, prancing, doing whatever it is you want to do. Just keep doing something because you're going to grow old if you don't. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I already said that, didn't I? Oh, well, I'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all.